like hide in front of us. Let's light this bad man jammer up. Come on, baby, let's see what we can do. Ooh, light him up. He's trying to run, but he cannot hide. Boom, 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 Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time it is in your neck of the woods. This is Tony, and welcome to today's video. So today we've got a brand new giveaway, this time for the brand new Titan Weapons Lantern. I'm going to be playing these for you guys on the new Titan Heimdall. There he is right before your eyes. What do you think? Pretty, pretty nice looking Titan, I must say so myself. Um, here's the little description and stats for those of you who are interested. But now let's get right on in to the giveaway. All right, guys, here are the official rules. Like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the bell icon and select all to enter and put your pilot ID platform and hashtag WRWinLanterns in the comment section of any of my videos, live streams, or community posts on YouTube from the 25th of March until the 31st of March. Atop the screen right now is an example of what the pilot ID and platform looks like. For those of you who do not know, reminder that the giveaway does end on the end of March, 331. Winners will be posted in my Discord and I will include them in my community tab on YouTube or most likely in a YouTube video. Now I have something important to show you guys. Some people have been complaining they didn't get their rewards from a giveaway and this is why. To make sure you've copied your ID correctly, all you need to do is go up in the top left corner where your name is, click on that. It's going to take you to this stat screen. Right below your name is your pallet ID. All you need to do is click on that. It's, you're going to get a prompt saying ID copied. That's how you know you've done it correctly. From here, you can post it into the, any of the content I put on YouTube from the release of this date until the 31st of March, along with the hashtag WRWinLantern to be entered. Please only enter once per video, live stream, community post, etc., etc. But you can enter on every single thing that I post from now until the end of the month. Also, we have a 200. Oh, right here we go, dropping into Abyss map. Awesome map. Love this map. Such a diverse, diverse map. It's a big map, but it plays like a small map if you know how to play it right. If you could stick to that right side or those low beacons, you can kind of cut off most of the long range of sight. Yes, bendies can bend around, but you could really make it feel like a small bat by trying to limit your engagements and keeping them in closer quarters. Um, this map has a little bit of everything. Brawling areas, medium range areas, long range uh, sight lines, teleportation ports. Uh, really awesome chances to knock people off the map. I mean, everything you want in a map, this map pretty much has it. We all love um, Castle Map because you could throw people off into the gorge. You know, that was always so much fun. Uh, here you could throw people off into to the lava, which is also awesome. It's a little more rare since the lava is on the edge of the map, and there's only, like, two areas where it's, like, actually on the playing field where there's an area to throw people in, and it's kind of away from Beacon, so... It's really rare to get people to get tossed over there, but it still does happen from time to time. We are rocking that Spark Capri build. I did a video on that yesterday. I'll put a link up in the top right corner. This thing is an absolute monster, guys. So much fun. I love to play it. Bringing old weapons back and making them viable and breaking the metal with them. That's what I love to do. That's a passion of mine and a way I really enjoy the game. Uh, that's something I really love to do. Boom, we get the double kill. Very, very nice. All right, we're just shaking and moving with the Capri out here, trying to find our next target and decide where we want to go next. Um, with all the bendies out on the battlefield, you really need to play it smart, make your moves count, and really try to plan out where you're going to go next. Because if you get caught off guard and out in the open, you are toast in a matter of milliseconds sometimes. We get the triple kill there. Very nice. Moving on up to our home. I'm going to try to take this guy out of there. He's kind of running beacons a little bit. And our teammates are really thrown off by this guy. <laughs> They've never seen anything like it. Um, shout out to this guy. He's doing a heck of a job. Oh, we got the Rampage, Rampage, Rampage. It looked like he was running in the hover with that brown paint job. I think that's what that was. I can't be for certain, but he was doing a tremendous job. Shout out to that guy for running an older robot and making it work in the current meta, man. I love to see it. Much respect. Shout out to that dude. 
Ooh, I thought we were going to get that guy, but he disappeared on us. Ooh, I was trying to get within that mothership strike so I can get a, uh, a heal and a shield out of it. But I was just outside of it. I wasn't able to get back in. So the name of the game when you're playing this Spark Kepri is when you're at a distance, um, you want to try to get locked onto a target. So when you get closer to somebody, you can target swap over to that close person without waiting for that target lock on time. Just like that guy, I was waiting for him to come out of his stealth so I can quick swap over to him. Uh, quick swapping with targeting weapons like that is a must and a key, key, key skill you guys need to learn if you're going to run weapons that have a lock on like this one does. Nice, nice, nice. We get the kill. Oh man, we got a Lucha Ducha Ducha coming in. I dropped the shield for my friendly Titan Luchador right there. But I am going to spawn mine in right now so this match does not get away from us. I'm going to go back and play a little defense. It looks like someone's over near our home right now and they may take a run at it. So I'm going to try to stymie his attempts to steal our home beacon. Lighten him up really good. He goes into trains then is to dodge that incoming damage to him. He's doing a great job right now staying behind that cover. But he got a little bit too greedy and poked his head out and we were able to put the hit on him. All right, I'm going to move up to this home beacon here and try to get a good vantage point. You definitely want to watch out with all the bendy sirens out there. The bendy siren is going to be the bane of your existence. Um, it's basically the new the new Fafnir. Um, they can take you out extremely, extremely quickly, especially with a squishy, squishy titan like this. I know you see 689,000 HP, but man, does this thing go down quick. Let me tell you. Oh, my gosh. We got our eyes on this guy. Can we take him down? Lighten him up. Boom, we get the triple kill. That's what I'm talking about. All right, now we're cooking with grease. We got something going here. Oh, we got our eyes on the next target. We got a Titan hitting him with that built-in ability. Waiting for my time to shine. Here we go. Lighten him up, baby. Boom, 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 Titan Slayer. Oh, man, that's what I'm talking about. Lighten that dude up in the distance as well. I wanted to try to get that Titan, but I was not able to. Boom! We got the guy like now, too. What is going on, man? Oh, no. Oh, no. We got a couple bendy sirens in the sky, and this is no bueno, no bueno, no bueno for anyone. They are getting tired of my shenanigans, and they are all starting to push up on me right now. We've got a Sharangatang with Basilisk. They lock me down. Oh, my gosh. They're doing me dirty right now. I risked it for the best it. I ran three onslaughts instead of two onslaughts and two Titan anti controls. I wish I had the two Titan anti controls. I would have not got locked down. I would have been able to get back to cover and I would have still been alive with a fighting chance. Oh my gosh, we get the Titan Slayer there. We had to get vengeance for that takedown. Sometimes it's always not better to put extra damage on a Titan. If you could rock two Titan anti controls, I highly recommend doing it. The value of not being able to get locked or suppressed is so so huge you don't really realize it until you look and pay attention to how much you get killed uh for getting locked and suppressed it happens most of the time to be honest with you so when i realize when i'm running those two-way entire controls on there i am much more resilient my titan lasts much much longer and i'm far more effective for my team so it's not always about the maximum amount of potential damage it's that survivability factor and able to stick in there, hang it out. Because sometimes, you know, this game is a game of seconds and inches. And all it takes is for you to be alive for that extra one second. And that can make or break an entire game. Going up into another flight with our Siren here. I don't know. It looks like the enemy team is starting to burn itself out right now. They got a little crazy. They got a little bit aggressive. And it was very, very costly for them. Waiting for this purple shield to go away. Can we take him out? Oh, man. Targeting's all over the place on us. End up missing that kill as well. Jeez Louise. Papa Cheese. All right. We're about to get another flight right here. Let's see if we can make it worth it. Lighten that dude up from downrange. Boom. We get the last kill. Is this it? Is this over? Oh, baby. There is the match. We were able to pull it off and turn it around. Let's take a look at the scoreboard and see the damage. All right, 5 million, 14 kills, nothing great, nothing special, but I will take it. Uh, the main objective was to show that Heimdall with lanterns. Good luck to everybody entering to win the lanterns. Good luck to everyone entering to win the Spirits Mutas. I appreciate you guys so much. Hope everybody has a great day and keep coming back.